Next, let's move to the ribbon that's called Page Design. And we need to probably get our view back up a little bit so we can see more of the document. Under the Page Design ribbon, uh, there's a few things we can do here. Under Guides, because these are desktop publishing documents, we have all of these different guides and the purpose for the guide, I'm going to just click that one, is to put a grid work on your document. I can see by putting the grid work in that um, I, can, I should be able to move things to fit it just right. So if I make the bottom of these text boxes line up with the bottom of that grid, it helps me to line things up properly. I can even work on trying to get these even widthwise because I've got the grid work to work with. Let's see, I'll move that one over a little bit. And once again, I've now lost enough room to hold my text so then I would need to just reposition something until it fit. Looks like putting in that heading is what did it. So I'm going to select all of my text boxes and just drag them down together until I have enough room for all the text again. The other thing that's on here besides your guides are all of the color schemes. And of course we have used those in Word but they are quite a bit more obvious here. Uh, the background over here it allows you to change the background color. And of course you've got more backgrounds if you want to put anything else in. I think I'll just choose one of these. On the far left side there's an icon that says Change Template. You can click there if you're going to go to a different template or you could go to File New. Uh, in our next video, we're going to be looking at some of these other templates that are available for us for what we are working on.